We would like to acknowledge the land on which we gather is the occupied territory of the Iowa, Sauk, and Meskwaki, Wahpeton, and Sioux people. You should have a list under archive on the right hand on the left hand side that says donors, new cutoffs, photo spheres, photos, subcategories, submissions, and tags. And I am interested in the photo sphere and click on that green plus that says add. I'm going to go and grab the title, which is the title of the actual folder. So my title is going to be Waverly-190101, you know, in the FI number and then the date. I am going to take it back to the ad photo and I'm just going to paste it in there. The description is whatever you can do to describe. So bridge view of downtown Waverly. And it's okay. Nobody's going to read this. It's just a, a reference description. And here is where we're going to get the 360 image. And I'm going to find that 360 image and I am going to upload it. And there it is. I save and continue editing. And then you will see the image that you just uploaded. And the most important thing that you want to do in this um, area is there is a pink dot and you have to point that pink dot north. And you do that with this azimuth control up here. If you wiggle the azimuth control on the upper right-hand side, it moves and you can move it over. I happen to know that more north is on this side of the bridge. So I'm going to move it all the way over here. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect north, but it has to be generally north. So this is generally north. And then I'm going to move down and it says, okay, this is exactly, it's grabbing the 360 location, longitude and latitude from the actual camera. The next thing I have to do is decide which decade it is. And that decade is very clear in the title of the image that you um, selected. So I'm going to choose 1900. These links below, um, those are going to go away. Um, they are for us to link to the other photospheres that are nearby, because as we create this walking tour, we're going to be connecting these links. And as you walk, you'll be able to just kind of like inhabit this space by going from one image to another. At the bottom, it says add another photo position. And this is where you actually choose that um, uh, Fort upon Iowa image that's in the archive. This is where you choose the historical photo. So I'm going to grab just the ones with the numbers, just the, just the numbers. Um, I'm going to avoid grabbing the F, the I, and any zeros before my number. So I'm only grabbing 18945. I scroll down, I click on that green plus, paste that photo in there. I don't do anything else. I don't hit the magnifying glass. I don't do anything else, but I save and continue editing. Okay, and there, the next step, we're almost there. The fun part is almost arrived. You should see the photo and it's layered on top of the 360 photo behind. And the best thing to do is just, you know, zoom out so that you can see that this photo is there. And then what you wanna do is just, you can grab this um, 360 and kind of like figure out where is that bridge view and then you want to just to use the azimuth. Azimuth is left and right. So I'm finding that photo. I am using the inclination to go up and down. I'm using distance. Maybe it should be closer. Maybe it should be forward. In this case, it should be closer. And I'm matching it. I can go up and down with the opacity to see, is that going to work? You know, um, that is that pretty good or maybe it needs to be over a little bit and over so it's a point of just sort of like exploration and again you always kind of go back and forth the opacity and back and forth and then you figure out that you've got it and when you feel like you've got it you hit save